Welcome back to the Red Dice Diaries, and this is a video response to David Daniel Ducker, Triple D's video response about encouraging players. And in it, he talks about leaving the door open for players and encouraging them to be more descriptive and step up their game in general. I agree with all of this advice, and I've put similar bits of advice in various other videos, so I'm not going to repeat that here. However, the next bit is where he also talks about only wanting A-game players for his campaigns, and that he's not afraid to cut people from his campaigns if necessary, or not to invite them back to future games. And using this to create an air of competitiveness, which encourages people to step their game up a notch. Now, my own approach has previously been a lot softer than this, I suppose you'd say. Having only a fairly small pool of players in my local area that I'm acquainted with, my previous philosophy has always been to make the best of that situation. However, gaming on the internet has opened me up to a wider pool of players, some of whom have playing styles that far better mesh with my own GMing style. Now, I'm a fairly proactive GM, and I prefer it when my players are likewise. A lot of my local players are more casual or more reactive players. Now, this isn't necessarily bad, but it doesn't mesh amazingly well with my GMing star. Having GMed with more proactive people online has been a real eye-opener for me in this regard. I think that, yes, you should make all efforts to help players up their game and improve their role-playing skill. And role-playing is a skill. Like any other skill, it can be improved. However, the effort cannot all be on behalf of the GM. The player has to be want to be improving their style or willing to do so. Now, I think a very important factor in this regard is, as David quite rightly says, knowing when to cut your losses. If you're trying to help a player improve their gaming, as far as your GMing style is concerned at any rate, and they aren't interested or they're happy with the a different style than the one you prefer, then you've basically got two options. You can, one, either find a compromise, or two, cut your losses and move on to a different group of players. Currently, I run two games, both are Dungeon World. One is for a small group of friends that is quite proactive, but that we rotate games for on a regular basis, so we don't want any large, massive, overrunning campaigns. And the other is for my old group, my old tabletop group, which is a far longer-running campaign in theory, but that group has quite a casual style of of gaming. Now, Dungeon World has really covered both aspects for me there, since it's very simple to get into and works great for the rotating game, but it also has a very collaborative stance on world and plot development, which is great for encouraging role play, but since it is so easy to pick up, it also works for casual games. So there would be my advice. Of course, always try and encourage people to improve their role-playing skills and flex those role-playing muscles. But it has to be a two-way street. You can't always have the GM putting in all the effort and not have any return for it from the players. If the players want to improve their skills and they enjoy your style of GMing, then great get that collaboration going help them improve as much as you can like david said leave the door open for their descriptions and do all you can to encourage you however if they're not interested in improving they, they want to be more of a casual gamer again there's nothing wrong with that but if they do want to be a more casual gamer or maybe their style of play just doesn't really fit well with your gming style then you have two choices you can either find a compromise one that sort of suits everybody and press ahead with that or two you can cut your losses and move on to a different group of players so that's my video response for triple d's own video response i hope you've enjoyed it and that you'll click on like and subscribe to this channel we put out new videos every week if you have any comments either leave them in the comments box below or hit me up in the google plus links i'd love to hear about your own experiences and what you think until i see you next time thank you very much for watching and for listening take care